Don't forget, you can now get your Baby Keisha plush toy at hellojuniper.com slash play. I still cannot believe that I am marrying my best friend's crazy ex-boyfriend to save her life. The things we do for best friends. Hey girls and guys, I decided from Sci Let's Play and I'm still not back with my best friend. As you guys know, her crazy ex-boyfriend kidnapped her and now the only way he will let her go is if I marry him. And he's not even agreed to let her go. He's just gonna let me see her to make sure that she's okay. So... I tried to get in contact with her dad, who's supposed to be this crazy criminal, but I don't know if he's like out on some crazy work mission or, or whatnot because he was in picking up the phone. And then when I found out that her crazy ex-boyfriend Marcus bugged my phone, I was like, I can't try to get in contact with him again because if he finds that, that I'm trying to get in contact with her dad, what if he hurts Jess and we cannot have that happen? So as much as I do not want to do this, I have to do this for Jess. I think any best friend would do this for their friend. So <sighs> I'm going to be a good friend and I'm going to do this for her. Here's the one little loophole that I think Marcus doesn't know about. See, the good thing about Marcus is he might be evil, creepy, and stalkerish and all that stuff, but he is very, very dumb. And what he doesn't realize is that we're all in high school and legally we can't get married without our parents' consent because that is against the law. But he's dumb and he doesn't know that. So the plan is I'll meet up with him, I'll act like I don't want to marry him, and then I'll finally say yes. And then we'll go get married. He'll take me to Jess. I'll rescue her. And then I'll be like, boom, we're not even married. So we don't even have to get a divorce. See, it's that simple. So I hope this plan doesn't backfire. I hope he lets me see Jess because it's been way too long. And to be honest, he could have killed her by now and I wouldn't even know. So I know he's at the high school right now. So I'm going to head over there right now. And I cannot believe I'm going to do this but I'm gonna marry Marcus. All right, so I'm in my car, and I mean, I'm still contemplating the fact that I could run him over and kill him, but the only problem with that is if I kill Marcus right now, then I'll never find out where Jess really is because he hasn't told us where Jess is just yet. So I can't hurt him because if I hurt him, I'll never get the answer, and I'm pretty sure Jess would starve to death or something like that, so, oh, ugh, I already see him. As much as I wanna run him over, I can't. Oh, let's just get this over with. I can't believe I'm doing this. I wish I could just go back to being a normal high school student. Life was so much easier then, you know? I used to complain about how people were mean to me and stuff, but this is just it's a whole other level. Hello? Hi, Marcus. Isn't water a wonderful thing? Um, I, I, no. No, I, I, I guess, maybe, I don't know. Without it, we'll die. Oh my gosh, why does he always have to be so creepy? Okay, what's your point, Marcus? Are you trying to be all poetic or something? Like, oh, water's so wonderful. Without it, we'll die. No, no, no. Are you trying to like insinuate that you're going to try to drown me or something? I'm not scared of you, Marcus. My point is, Jess hasn't had any water in days. Wait, what? Marcus, you promised you wouldn't hurt her. You promised that if I agreed to your deal, you would take care of her. So you need to hurry up. Marcus, have you hurt Jess at all? Just tell me the truth, please. I'm not hurting her. But how do I know that you're not hurting her? Just take me to her. Let me see her. Let me make sure that she's fine. And then I'll go with, I'll go with you. I'll go with you to the church. I'll marry you if that's what you want. But please, let me see that she's okay. Her own body is doing all the work. So you are hurting her. You're hurting her by depriving her of food and water. That's torture, Marcus. What kind of sick, twisted person is he? I cannot believe I'm going to marry this guy. No food and water. It'll kill her. Well, duh, if I gave you no food and water, I would kill you too. Marcus, just let me see her, please. Take me to her now. I promise you, I will marry you. I'll do whatever you want. Just let me see her. No, you told me if I agreed to marry you, you would let me see her. I make the rules. You made the rules. You told me the rules. I'm agreeing to the rules and now you're changing them. Marry me first. No, that wasn't the deal. The deal was... I agree to marry you. The minute I agree to it, you would let me see her and then I would... Why are you walking away? You made a promise. So what? 
Now you break your promises? So you're a liar. Yes. You're just going to admit it? Marcus, please, I'm begging you. I'm begging you, please. Or call her on the phone. Let me talk to her. Let me make sure she's okay. How do I know you haven't killed her by now or something? Because if she's dead, what's the point of me marrying you? Do what I say. Okay, okay, calm down. When do I get to see Jess? Just tell me what I need to do to see my best friend and I'll do it. After? I can't believe he's doing this. After the wedding. How do I know you're not going to lie to me? How do I know you're not going to change the rules again or break your promise? Because you could be lying to me right now. Let's go now. Go where? To see Jess? Do you mean we're going to go to see Jess right now? I'm ready. I have my car. We could go there right now. I, if you want, you could drive. I don't care. You could blindfold me if you don't want me to see where she is. I think she has one day left before she sleeps forever. What do you mean sleep forever? Before you kill her? Is that what you're trying to tell me? One day? Marcus, how bad is she right now? Oh my gosh. If he seriously has been starving her and giving her no water all this time, Jess has been gone for like two weeks now. Oh my gosh. Right now, I don't know if he's going to break his promise, but I can't risk it. I just need to go along with it. You want to go to the church? Fine. Fine. You get your way. Let's go to the church. Let's get married. And then right after, as soon as we say I do, you are taking me to see Jess. Deal? Because there's... N hug you? N no. There was no agreement that I had to hug you in all of this. Do you agree or not? The minute you say yes, we'll get in that car and we'll go get married if that's what you want. You will see Jess after. After what? You have to be more specific than that. Because he's this little sneaky snake. And I guarantee his after probably means like after you die or something crazy like that. So I'm not taking a risk. After the church? Okay. Fine. After the church. So let's go then. Marcus, I really, really hope you're not lying to me. Because if anything happens to Jess, I will hurt you ten times worse than you hurt her. I promise you that. I don't care what I'll have to do. I will do it. I'll do it myself as well. This guy, man. I knew Jess should have never... This is, this is why you don't date in high school. For this reason. You already hurt me. I didn't hurt you. It was an accident. You got too close to my personal space. I pushed you off the treehouse. We've already discussed this, Marcus. How many times are you going to bring it up? You can't do any more damage. Oh yeah, his scar on his head. All he cares is about his looks. I can't believe I'm actually at the church right now. Getting ready to marry that monster. Look at him and how happy he looks. Look, I know this is a wedding and I'm supposed to wear a pretty white dress, but this is more like my funeral, so I decided to wear a black dress instead to rub it in his face. Look, he said he wanted to get married. He didn't say I had to wear a white dress, so I'm going to make this the worst wedding ever. <laughs> Serves him well. Oh, I better go down there now. Get this over with. Every step I take is just one step closer to that creepy person right there. Ugh. Oh. Mm, I wish he would have stayed turned around. Hello, Marcus. Are these all your friends over here? <laughs> Great. That you brought an audience to witness our marriage. Black dress? Yes. Is there something wrong with my dress? I think it looks pretty nice. Are you crazy? Whoa, Marcus, are you okay? You're like shaking. Is he that mad? I, I just... I just, I, I had a white dress and it didn't fit me. I didn't mean to upset him that much. Oh my gosh. I, 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 this was the only dress that fit me and you didn't really give me that much time to prepare. So I decided to just wear this one. Are you trying to ruin this? Uh, Marcus, Marcus, calm, calm down, please. Marcus, please calm down. It's, look, it's just, ignore the dress, okay? I wasn't trying to ruin anything, okay? I, I was just, it was the only dress I had. And look, we match. Isn't that, isn't that a good thing, right? Like, it's... Do you want me to burn you with this candle? Whoa, 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 whoa. Marcus, calm down. It's just a dress. Go and change now. I, I didn't, I didn't bring another dress. Uh, this is, this is the only one I have. I... It's, it's either this or, or or we can't get married. Oh my gosh, she's actually like turning into a psycho. You're ruining my day. Well, technically it's our wedding, so it's 
our day, you know, <laughs> as much as I don't want to be here or get married to you because I hate you, you know, it's still our day, right? So what the heck? Um, Marcus, uh, do you want to, do you want to cancel this wedding or something? I mean, I don't have another dress. I, 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 I maybe, oh, this is good. This is perfect. He wants to cancel the wedding. So, so you do. Okay. Then, um, I, can I go see Jess now? I mean, I, I agreed to my end of the deal. You didn't. So technically I should be allowed to see her now. You want me to let you think? Okay. Um, think about what? Just, can I, can I see Jess now? I, I kept my promise. Now you need to keep yours. Wait, wait, what? For what, Marcus? We don't have all day. You said it yourself. Jess only has a day left before she falls asleep forever. More like before you try to kill her. Baptize yourself for your sins. Okay, Marcus, you're starting to creep me out. Then I'll marry you. Marcus, I this is my wedding dress. I can't get in water right now. It, I'll get wet. <laughs> and then you want me to walk around like that all day? Now? Okay, okay, fine, fine. There. I did what you wanted. Happy now? Everything always has to go your way, doesn't it? So we can do this now, right? Get it done? I still cannot believe that I am marrying my best friend's crazy ex-boyfriend to save her life. The things we do for best friends. <sighs> All right. So, um, what now? Father made this quick, please. Look, I do, he does, we're good, we're married, done. Good, Marcus? Can we go now? We don't, we're good. I do, you do. No, we're not sealing this with a kiss, okay? Because there's no way that's happening. You said get married. You did not say I had to kiss you, so, <laughs> no. Sorry, that's not happening, Marcus. You got what you wanted. You got married. We have to. Fine. I'll give you a kiss on the cheek. Mwah. There you go. Done. That's it. Let's go. Where's Jess? Take me to her now. Marcus, where are you going? Marcus, I married you. You need to let me go see Jess now. You promised. Now. What do you mean, hmm? No, hmm. Marcus, you need to let me see her now. What are you doing? You promised me. Marcus? Beg. Beg for what? Oh, I think I stole that girl's weave. My bad. I'm sorry, girl. What is that? Oh, my hair. I accidentally took it from the girl down here. What's wrong with it? I think it looks cute. You know, blonde hair. Got my little hat on and stuff. Why are you doing all of this today? I'm not doing anything, Marcus. And stop trying to distract me from the fact that you promised you were let me see Jess. So where is she? Take me now. Is this some sort of joke? No, this isn't some sort of joke. Jeff's life, Jess's life's at stake right now. You're literally about to kill her. And now you're not taking me to her. You promised. I got married to you. I did what you told me. You wanted me to go in that water and I did. And now you're not taking me to her. You want me to beg you instead. I've already begged you enough. I'll take you, but you have to be blindfolded. Okay, I told you, I don't care. If you want me to go blindfolded, I will. I don't have to see where she is. Not yet, at least. Look, I could be blindfolded. We'll go there. It'll be good. You cannot see where she is. Okay, that's fine. I will be blindfolded. Deal? Deal. Okay, let's go. But, but what, Marcus? Please, you're just wasting time. Not today. <gasps> Where did he go? Oh my gosh, he left. If he left, he told me Jess only has a day left. A day left and he left me. I was supposed to go make sure she's okay. I need to get out of this dress. I need to go home and I need to think of something. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I, I couldn't even find my clothes. I'm just gonna stay like this. Even if Marcus doesn't answer my calls within like the next couple hours, I'm going to need to find Jess's dad. And I don't know what kind of person he is. He might be a little crazy. All I know is that he's super rich and that he's a criminal. I don't know what kind of crime he does. I don't know what kind of person he is. I don't know who he hangs around with, but I need to find him because he needs to find Jess now. Because if what Marcus is saying is true, then 
He hasn't been feeding her. He hasn't been giving her water. I, I don't know a lot about that stuff, but I'm pretty sure that within like a week of that stuff, people normally die. So we need to find Jess ASAP because I can't count on Marcus. He's a little liar, a little snake. The only person we have left to count on is Jess's dad. And hopefully he can tell us how to find her or at least help us or something. But anyway, you guys, I'm going to go and end it, he end it here. I hope you guys had fun watching. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and share. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.